G'day guys, and welcome to the Out of Breath channel. We're heading up Springbrook. I don't know why I'm doing this on the hill right now, but I am. G'day guys, and welcome to, well, probably not my smartest idea. I've decided to go up Springbrook. Oh God, I'm on the wrong gear already. I've decided to go up Springbrook. New gear. But uh, the legs this morning were sort of saying no, but now they've turned on, so see how far we get. Welcome to Little Springbrook. It's only a little rise, but it's the first start of Springbrook. Sort of go up for a bit, then go down to the bottom to the valley. And then you properly start going up Springbrook. Oh God, what have I done? I'm out of breath already. Please send help. It's the easy 18 k's to get here. Where we are now, which is Little Springbrook. Where I want to get to. I'm only pretty much going up to, there's a piece of little single track and there's a lookout up there. We'll go up there, have a rest, and then come back down. I think it's about 400 meters up there about. So I've already done 120 to get here. So it will probably be close to 550, I think, by the time I get to the top of where I want to get to anyway. So hot though. Whoa. But legs are okay. The legs have turned back on for some reason. Right quad's a little bit iffy, but we'll see how we go. If I don't get all the way to the top, go back, just turn around and come down. Easier to go down and up, I guess. All right, let's keep on going. Only it was 300 meters to go. It's probably about 300 vertical meters to go, for me at least. Woo! Time for the small cog. My legs ain't pushing the big cog up here today. Love how peaceful it is out here. This doesn't do the birds and also the water because we've had heaps of rain. One of the advantages about riding out here is because you're in the forest, you can hear a car coming from ages away, either in front of you or behind you. Same with motorbikes. It's actually quite nice to hear motorbike coming through the valley. Let's just say they don't go slowly through here. Would you take the bikes? Or would you drive in the caterham? Tough choice. This is where I should stop, but we're gonna keep going up. About another 100 meters, I think, or maybe 70 meters vertical. Up a little one-way road to a really nice lookout, which we should be able to see what's behind these trees here. So there is another way to the top here, and it's via that road. 
but it is quite steep. I've never actually come up or down it on a bike yet. I probably should go down it one day, but I'll go back down the same way we went up today, only because I quite like the descent. So this is where I probably could have stopped, like I just said before, but we're gonna keep up going this way. Well, we made it. Slow burn, very slow burn. I actually couldn't get it on camera, but there was a guy that came past me. I reckon he would have been doing easily mid 20s, maybe even 30s up the hill. I was only doing 13s. I'm a tortoise today. Anyways, check out the view. Remember, well, you can see it all the way over there. That's the Gold Coast skyline. So we've got Q1, or Service Paradise here, Broad Beach over here, coming down to Mermaid Miami, and then Burley's over this way. I don't know if you've seen the movie The Castle, but House of Serenity. What goes up? Must go down now. Now comes the fun part.
36, bloody hell. All right, homeward bound. What are we, about 68 k's by the time I get home. About 3,100 calories and 930 odd meters of climbing. Not too bad. Yeah, for the distance, considering I haven't done it in a while. I am looking forward to some air con and a nice cool drink though. All right, thanks guys. Catch you on the next one.